Junior scientist creating a fake bruise is the final tutorial in our path along to making a very awesome and very amazing looking fake wound. Uh, and it's probably one of the easiest ones because all you need is access to an eyeshadow palette. You don't need as many colors as the one I've got here, but you do ideally need a blue and a red and a green and a yellow. Not all colors that you immediately associate with blood, I'm sure, but don't worry, we will come to that and I'll show you how to do it and explain along the way. Righto, so I'm gonna make a bruise on my arm and I've got my trusty GoPro camera here to sort of show you it as it's being created. Now we're gonna start with the color red, probably not surprisingly, it's sort of a pinky red color, and that's going to be at the center of our bruise. There we go. And you've probably guessed why the center of the bruise or a fresh bruise is red. It's blood, right? That's pretty easy. When something whacks you really hard, it often bursts the blood vessels under the surface and blood can pool in there. Right, next comes the blue. Now, blue, you may have already guessed, we had a bit of blue in our, our fake blood earlier. Blue is the color of blood that is not very rich in oxygen. Remember it goes that darker color? So as the blood under your skin kind of pools and loses the oxygen, it goes that darker color, sort of that bluey, purpley almost color. Oh, it's quite impressive. All right, now we go to the green and the yellow. Now I'm sure green and yellow, I'm gonna put them around the outsides of my bruise. Old bruises tend to go green and yellow, but why is that? What is going on? Well, it does have to do with blood once again. You see, your body recycles all of the old blood cells that are in the bruise, all of the dead blood cells, and particularly in there, the hemoglobin. That's the molecule that carries the oxygen around your body. And when hemoglobin is recycled by your body, it gets turned into another chemical, something called bilirubin. So many chemical names. But bilirubin is, you guessed it, a yellowy, kind of greeny brown color. So that's actually what gives the color to old bruises. It's the hemoglobin being recycled. And as an aside, your body actually naturally recycles red blood cells every day in your body. That's what it does. It recycles them and it gets rid of them and it makes them more. And when it gets rid of them, they're recycled into bilirubin, which goes in your poo, which makes it the brown color. So there you go, bruises and they have a little bit in common. All right, so I've got the outsides of my bruise done there. And to be honest, that is looking pretty special. Now everyone bruises a little bit differently. So again, it's a science. You'll need to experiment to see what looks best on you. But I think that looks pretty good. And I think we're on our way to making our fake wounds. 